What's poppin' T-Squad? It's your girl Keisha and I'm here with this week's episode of Behind the Scenes T where we discuss what's going on with your favorite reality, television, and movies. Let's get into our first story. Now we already know that former Real Housewives of Potomac star Monique Samuels has joined Carlos King's Love and Marriage DC but she has added another job to her plate she just announced that she will be a host on the good morning show every morning from 6 a.m to 10 a.m on wpgc the dna of the dmv this is a great look for monique she is out here getting to it i'm so proud of her so so proud of her she told andy them little chicks don't move nothing over here shout out to monique congratulations are in order for the cast of amazon primes harlem they have been renewed for a season two this is a great look for these ladies i actually enjoyed the show it was a little bit kind of generic a little bit but overall i enjoyed it i finished the entire season um i'm just happy to see black women out here working i love the newcomer the plus size girl that's on the show she was so funny i love that she was hypersexual she wasn't one of those characters that's like oh i'm curvy men won't like me i love that they did not write her character that way loved megan good's character on there she was a typical sweetheart rom-com type character and old girl from empire liked her character she was very type a loved the show can't wait to see what the ladies bring for season two now speaking of season two over on stars the ladies of run the world are happy indeed because they too got picked up for a second season but one of the ladies will not be returning angela bardot who starred as ella during season one of the critically acclaimed stars comedy is exiting the series ahead of season two after failing to comply with the production's covid 19 vaccine mandate deadline reports run the world production company lionsgate television requires requires that cast and crew members who work in zone a are fully vaccinated per deadline lines gate was in conversations with bordeaux regarding her concerns about the mandate and offered reasonable ways to accommodate them but alas a workable solution did not pan out and bordeaux chose to walk away from the show the role of ella is not expected to be recast it remains unclear how the show intends to address her departure upon its eventual return now child I had never even heard of Andrea Bordeaux until this show. You all know how hard it is for black actresses to get work in Hollywood. So for her to quit a show over a COVID vaccine mandate to me is quite ridiculous. I don't know what people think is in this vaccine that's going to turn them into a zombie or track their every move. But it's like you turning down a syndicated television show over a vaccine girl. I hope you got it like that. And I hope the jobs is piling up for you and that, you know, you can bounce back from this, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be hard for her to find work considering that everybody is going to require for you to have a vaccine in order to work. So if she got it like that, honey, then go right ahead. But I wouldn't have quit. What y'all think? BET Plus is set to host a Martin Cass reunion special this summer to celebrate the 30th anniversary of Martin. Martin Lawrence, Tisha Campbell, Tashina Arnold, and Carl Anthony Payne II are set to appear with other guests to be announced later. This is such a good look. I'm so excited for this bruh man <laughs> makes an appearance. So sad that the actor that played Tommy will not be a part of this you know he passed away years ago there were talks a few years back of them doing a martin reboot i guess that fell you know to the wayside but it'll be so good to see everybody back together again i wonder will they address what happened between martin and tashina in real life when she um exited the show because she alleged that he was 
sexually inappropriate with her on set he was a little handsy so i wonder if they're gonna go there like will smith did with janet huber on their reunion special it would be really good to clear that whole thing up you know there was also gossip out there that carl anthony payne had issues with martin he said that you know he got teased a lot on set and disregarded so i wonder will these issues be brought up this will be very very interesting i'm looking forward to this this process has just begun. I want everybody to remember why you're here. Is it time to move on? Or is it time to put a ring on it? My appetite for destruction. <laughs> I don't run from nothing. For the next several weeks, each of you will be going out on a date with someone else other than your partner. They told me to run, run. What's going on, man? Shorty here? What's your name? Tay. Where you from, bro? Florida. Mm-hmm. Come on in. Where y'all going? Where y'all going? We're going to a pasta making class. Well, you know she can't cook, right? Y'all know each other. May the best woman win. So maybe you haven't met the right person yet? So if I wanted to kiss you, I couldn't kiss you. You could try. A relationship without trust is like a house built on quicksand. Yo, man, you need to get this stuff together because your product don't stay on the shelf for long. I'm making it hard for you, huh? Got nope. you hot and bothered. We're going through this process to do one of two things. We're either going to put a ring on it. I'm asking you right now. now. Or we're going to go our separate ways. Since you got so much mouth, Fonzo, you better tell him shut the f up, motherfucker. You're not talking to him. We did talk through DM. Right. So you've been lying the whole time. I don't want to get married to a man who doesn't take infidelity serious. That's it. I would like to leave. If you don't work through this, it will eat your relationship alive. I know she's a jealous woman now, she is. You think I want to be with you if you don't want to be with me? We've been doing this for a minute. Like, where are we really headed? Well, I don't know. I love me some messy ass put a ring on it the last few seasons have been super messy and super drama filled I will be doing reviews on this season can't wait for it to air this trailer looks great cannot wait and oh boy from two seasons ago is back going on a date with one of the ladies child I cannot Tawanda Braxton recently just sat down with the radio show and she discussed the status of their show Braxton and family value take a listen to what she had to say you know, i didn't realize it was Kardashian. Kardashian. yeah right yes. yeah, like I'm we sure. really don't get those accolades like we deserve really mm -hmm. to be honest yeah yeah no i get that and you guys often said that about the comparisons with the kardashians and what they got paid and the yes. you know what i mean the ratings exposed it was like i mean so is that why you guys stopped doing the show or, or what what well, happened we did we stopped doing the show for different reasons mm -hmm. you know tamar was going through her um in mental situation which is really really real so um you know we just wanted to honor that and then it was just time to not do it anymore mm. so we always said that we would stop when it didn't make sense right so mm -hmm. it didn't make sense for all of us not to be a part of it mm. yeah. okay so what about this like oh go ahead jay go oh no i was gonna ask you because you just brought up tamar you guys have to tell a lot of personal stuff she's grown and i think growth happens what did she go oh we saw when i saw i thought it that the, the, the the way she acted to me was that this was what, what, what I mean by that is we don't want anyone to try. One of the things I'm, I'm listening to you guys and I'm, I'll tell you what would be great. Like, let's say if E or Bravo called the family and said, we want you guys to do the show again. Would you do it? Do you think they would do it? Possibly. OK, possibly. But it would have to be on different terms. What do you mean? What are the terms um, you want to be in control or more money? What? Um, E all the above, mm, okay. all of that, <laughs> absolutely. Trailer. Um, all, all, yes. <laughs> Disclaimer. Um, no. Would have be what, what, what I mean by that is we don't want anyone to try to tell our story but us. Okay. Mm, you got know, it. and then when it comes to editing, of course they can't use what you don't say or do. Mm -hmm. um, but we, we want to make sure that we're in charge of that part of it. So there's always a problem resolution. Mm. Um, even, even though families go through a lot of stuff mm -hmm. and we have shown and exposed the things that we've gone through personally, 
it always has to be a problem resolution. Even okay. if it's like, okay, we can't get through it today, we're going to get through it tomorrow. It's unfortunate that we'll no longer get any more Braxton family values, but the ladies gave us 10 great years of great reality television show, but that show was really destroying their family. It's good to see that they're all in a better place now. I would love to see them back on a different network with more control, um, but who knows maybe it is best that they just stay off of reality television but in this interview Tawanda also let us know the status of her relationship with her ex-husband and her new boo thing um, because we're a blended family now mm -hmm. like he's he's the dad to my kids mm -hmm. because my husband is not a part of their lives oh wow um even if he was a part of their lives he yeah. would still be the dad yeah you know that is so sad and fucked up. But we all knew his ass wasn't shit from season one where he had her out here working, taking care of their household while he was sitting at home working on a goddamn book that didn't nobody fucking buy. I heard he fucking rotten hell, old piss poor ass motherfucker. Anywho, next case. Love you. I've had so many losses in my life, but I try to remember all the good parts. I know you're looking down, watching me. Watching your siblings. Through a lot of prayer, meditation, therapy, I push on from the past. My intentions are to be better in life, and everything I do now is for the future of my family. So I need to conquer my demons and overcome all of the grief and stay healthy and get back to work so I can show my kids an iconic performer. Yes! So I'm looking forward to dropping another album, solo and with New Edition, that we're getting back out there touring some more. I'm ready to get back out there. All right, well, you know what you're going to have to do, man. I do have challenges ahead of me. I'm going to be an alcoholic forever. I know at any time, at any day, I could have a slip. But going on tour with New Edition is a second lease on life. So I do have to try and stay sober. This tour, this show is two hours long. But as long as we got you sober, man, okay. I'll take you any way we can get you. No matter what happens next in life, I do take comfort in knowing that I'll go through it with my family, the Browns. The Browns! Woo! Bobby Brown has had so much trauma, so many pitfalls, so many losses in his life. So it's good to see him sober. I pray that he stays that way. I did just see a news report that during one of the new edition concerts that he kept on leaving the stage throughout the performances. I don't know if it's because of health reasons, but I pray that he's not back using or drinking again. I will watch this show. Hopefully we get some laughter like we had from him doing the Bobby Brown show back in the day. I hope that it's not all sadness and addiction and loss and all of that stuff, but I do want to support Bobby Good to see him back doing reality television. Will you all be tuning in to the new Bobby Brown reality? In some major P-Valley season two news, P-Valley updates posted this tweet from a young lady by the name of I.A., and she stated in her Twitter post, I remember when I was working on P-Valley season two and we had to do like 40 takes of this one scene with Jocelyn Hernandez because she couldn't get her line. The line was the spelling of Mississippi. If this is true, I am truly going to get my life seeing Jocelyn down at the paint i would actually love to see her have a recurring role on the show i think that would be so dope and awesome what do you guys think about this do you think that this, this is real tea how do you feel do you want to see jocelyn down at the paint with uncle clifford let me know also in p valley news i have this footage of the new character whisper doing her thing on the pole mama was making that ass clap yes ma'am get it miss whisper Season two of Netflix number one hit comedy, The Upshaws, is currently filming season two. And it looks like Kim Whitley will be on the show. I am so happy about this. 
if you don't remember kim whitley and mike epps start together in next friday so this is going to be so nostalgic to see them back on screen together season one of the upshaws was so good i truly enjoyed it it was such a different take on a family sitcom loved it can't wait for season two we have been loving power book four force this season one has been so good so far and i have learned some tea on one of the cast members cast member chris d lofton who plays janard sampson has wanted to be a part of the power universe since season one of power take a look at this for me i've been a diehard power fan from the jump the the original you know mm -hmm. season one episode one i wasn't the dude who jumped on the bandwagon by season three four when everybody started talking about it i was the dude telling people like when they were trying to compare it to empire even though i was on empire i was telling people <laughs> right. that there's no way it's the same that's better 50s over there killing shit it's on stars they were like what stars <laughs> exactly 50s killing it you gonna know in a minute start watching power this shit is fire and then I, and I always wanted to be on it. I've yeah. auditioned for every spinoff of Power from the original to every spinoff. Didn't get any of them. So wow. this one meant so much. You know what I'm saying? Like I auditioned for Sean in the original Power, for 50 Sun. I auditioned for in uh, Ghost, I auditioned for Professor Jabari Reynolds. In uh, Raising Canaan, I auditioned for Marvin and for Lulu. I tested for Marvin. And on BMF, I auditioned for Lamar Silas. Didn't get that. I just... I'll, Love for that, I've been bro, I've been trying to get on this show since they made the <laughs> show. Yeah, <laughs> yep. yeah, bro, like legit. I, I still got the audition tapes. I still got the emails from all of those auditions. Like I, I auditioned for those. Like so, this mean a lot, bro. It really mean more to me than just a job. You know, a lot of people as actors, you, you just be happy to be working. This is why I always tell you guys to follow your dreams. Never let anything stop you. He kept on trying and trying and trying and trying. And after all of those no's and rejections, he never gave up. And now look, he's a part of the power universe. He's one of the main characters. He has a recurring role. This is his big breakout role. That is such an encouragement to watch him live out his dreams watch this behind the scenes video that he posted on his instagram showing how he went from being a fan of the show to being a series regular this chicago for real right here folks come on all right well i'm from chicago so there we go i've been doing this shit 20 years so 20 years i still ain't still ain't shit Still ain't nowhere near the cusp of what I want to do, what I'm trying to do, what I aspire to do, none of that, but. I'm so proud of my brother. I've been with him through all his journey. Hardball, his first thing he ever did. It's, it's just so wonderful to be here. I've never been in New York. I'm just so proud of him and all his accomplishments. Like I made a decision to leave Chicago in 2015, July 21st, 2015 to be exact. And I did that cliche ass shit that, you know, people, people tell you not to do. I got on a plane with a one way ticket and I five quit my job, filed for unemployment. <clears throat> I had like 300 and I was like, all right, they're going to give me like another two something a week for the next, I mean, however many weeks. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm going to take that. I'm gone. Get to LA two weeks. Turn my shit off. Turn unemployment off. I mean, it's just the way it is. I know the struggle that you went through. I know, and it was almost harder on me than it was on you. Simply because I knew what you were going through. I didn't know if you were eating, but I do know one thing, that you were dead set on doing what you wanted to do. You held, you held on to your dream. It did not matter what anybody said or what anybody thought. You held on to your dream in spite of me wanting to tell you, Go get a job. Go do this. Go do that. You can do this. No, mama. Because if I do that, I'm going to get stuck. I'm not going to be stuck. I'm going to do what I need to do to make it where I want to be. And I admire you for that. I admire you for that wholeheartedly. You have influenced me a lot to make me believe that I can do what I want to do. And I'm old, but I still know I can do it. And I just thank God for it. <laughs> I truly thank God for it. I wait avidly all week for a special day like Friday night to come, right? Mm -hmm. chill and watch TV. No, 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 not just chill and watch TV. 
Not just that. To chill and watch power. Baby, I'm so proud of you. From the moment I met you, there was always like this gleam in your eye and that's what attracted me to you because you have this tenacity about you and this vibe about you that I've never ever met. And I met you and you told me you was gonna be here, baby. And you did it. And I'm so fucking proud of you. I catch it on Friday, on demand, at midnight. And here it is, 1.55 a.m. L.A. time, and it's still not on there. And I don't know how deeply you feel about power, but I'm very, 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 very adamant about power. This shit crazy. This shit crazy. Bro. Bro, this shit crazy. I don't even know where to start, bro. Like, hmm. I'm going downstairs to get couple of my homies, man, my best friends. They go on the show with me. Like, this is how you know all this crazy. I'm from Chicago. I'm playing a nigga from Chicago on Power, my favorite show. And my best friend in real life is playing one of my homies on Power in Chicago. And both of us from Chicago. I'm like, bro, come on, man. Like, this shit is a dream, man. I'm... I'm proud of myself right now. This is a moment. I don't get many moments like this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, yeah. man. Come on, man. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, see, I'm doing my research. I'm an actor. So this is research for me. My man, Bart, man, he played Blackston on the show. Black shit, take your mask off. Nah, yeah, you know, you know, you know what time it is. You know what time it is, man. Come on, baby, Power Book 4. Yeah, we on the way. February 6th. Come on down tonight. Shout out to 50. Really? Shout out to Courtney Kemp. <laughs> Come on, man. Thank you for the Don Perignon, Courtney. Courtney, Courtney, you're amazing. Uh -oh, let's start there. Trey, get in here. Love you, My Courtney. My business manager. Love nigga you, Courtney. Nigga who held me down for 10 years plus. The realest nigga in it. Like, we just doing light though. Like, we ain't trying to stun on nobody. Like, we just celebrating Christmas. You know what I'm saying? I'm running. Made it here. I'm in New York. Lord. I am so proud of it. I knew he could do it. Biggest audition of my life. An amazing night. You know, I'm excited. That's all I can say. Now, if that did inspire you, I don't know what will that was so inspirational every time i've watched this video it just inspires me to push harder to reach higher to aim wider and bigger like that is just such an inspiration i'm so happy for him and his family and can't wait to see where his role goes on the show that is just so awesome love power book four force love it love it love it and this concludes this episode of behind the scenes tea i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you got some piping hot tea let me know what you thought about all of my stories down below in the comment section make sure to thumbs up this video like and subscribe and hit that notification bell button i love you guys and i will see you on the next video bye